All right, it's the Marcel Show, and uh, on the air right now, I got my man, Coach Kevin, on the line. What's up, Kevin? Coach Kevin, how you doing, sir? I'm doing outstanding, Marcel. What's the word? What's the word today? Man, if I had your hands, I cut mine off. Don't do that. <laughs> I couldn't give you any dappin' otherwise. <laughs> right. But that's old school right there, man. Uh, <laughs> but anyway, man, look, good to talk to you, man. Coach Kevin, so what do you coach, your basketball team, or where, where does the coach come from? What do, what do you coach? Well, even though I'm six foot four and 235 pounds, I'm actually a life coach. <laughs> oh, oh, that's the best kind of coach. Yeah. I need a life coach, man. I'm making some bad decisions. Now, I need a life coach, <laughs> man. But look, um, you've written a book, and uh, apparently you're a motivational speaker, and you're doing that kind of stuff. Let me Let me ask you. How'd you get into this, man? Well, I looked at my life and realized where I came from and what I'm doing now, and I just wanted to share that power of finding your life purpose and working on it, achieving it, and being it. Wow. That's wow. what it's about. All right, man. So so you're, you're reaching a lot of people. Um, do people come back and say, hey, man, hey, Coach Kevin, you really changed my life, man. I was headed this way, and I was not going to be that and this and whatever. Do, do you encounter that much? Oh, all, all the time, and, and that's the fun part about it, is just seeing the transformation. You talk about going from a lowly caterpillar crawling on the ground about to get squashed to a butterfly who's flying in the sky, hitting flower to flower. <laughs> that's what it's about. I like the analogy, man, a lowly caterpillar to a butterfly in the sky. Hey, are you a lowly caterpillar crawling on the ground, scraping your belly? Or do you want to be a butterfly? <laughs> you know what? I like that, man. Anyway, Kevin, Coach Kevin, man, it sounds like you're doing some good stuff for the people. You, you, your soul feels good at the end of the night because you've helped some folks. Now, you've got a book out. Tell everybody the name of it, though. The name of the book is From Ghetto to Greatness. That's right. You don't have to be from the ghetto. It's really from wherever you are to greatness, and that's what it's about. But the book is a, actually about my story growing up in Long Beach, home of Snoop Dogg and, yeah. and all them, and coming up, and, and now I'm living in this suburb called uh, Johns Creek, Georgia. <laughs> Johns Creek? What the, what the heck? I, I'm, now I'm down here. Is that in Atlanta? Where's Johns Creek? Oh, man, it, it used to be Alpharetta, but, you know, it's it's one of the oh. most affluent neighborhoods, and, uh, yeah. you know, it's not... Not about me being materialistic. It's just a result of living my purpose. I'm living a very good life. No, I, I understand. Want to share that help other people. Too. I understand, man. And I know where Alpharetta is. You hit me with some old school Johns Creek. I never knew. You know, I'm a transplant. I didn't know Alpharetta was. So Alpharetta is really called Johns Creek. Well, they're still Alpharetta. They just broke off a little piece of it, like the cream of the crop, <laughs> and, uh, you know, made that Johns Creek. I like it. I like it, man. When somebody takes the time out, to find a way to help folks, we really have to take our hats off to them. You know what I mean? Uh, well, thank you, thank you. I'm taking a radio bow right now. <laughs> we appreciate that. Well, look, man, tell us uh, tell us a little bit about the book first before we even find out where we can get it. Well, well, the book is based on a fictional character named Jerome Green, and it follows his life from the time he was seven years old to the time he was 18. And all the trials and tribulations he went through uh, to getting his life on track because he basically had no parental guidance and uh, therefore he made a lot of mistakes and was exposed to a lot of things and it's a period piece it was set in the 1970s so it got a little old school feel wow. to it okay. a lot of musical references so it's really cool for young and old wow sounds good man that's my favorite uh, period the 70s so that's pretty good um, now let me ask you this too before we get into how people can get in touch with you look uh, you go out to the schools at all? Talk to the kids? Talk to these young guys? Oh, de definitely. Go out there. Career days, uh, junior achievement. Uh, so I volunteer with the young folks and even the, the adults. Sorry, I work with the Diabetes Foundation, uh, Fulton County Library. So I, I'm all over the community doing what I have to do to get the word out that you know there is a way to find your inner greatness and live it out. Mm, sounds good, man. You know what I want to do, man? I want to shadow you one day when you go out to uh, the schools or if you go out to these places. And uh, I want to just kind of like, you know, interview the folks that you're talking to and, and you as well again, um, because I think this is a great thing when you got people who do this. You know what I mean? Honestly. Yeah, that'd be great, Marcel. Let's, uh, let's hook it up. Get out there and make it happen, man. All right. How can people get in touch with you, man? People are starting to hit me up saying, all right, man, how can we find this guy? Uh, give us your website or however they can catch up with you, man. 
Uh, the best way to get a hold of me is successcoach4u.com. That's successcoach, the number four, and the letter u.com. Or they can hit me on my Google phone, which is area code 678-636-9755. Wow. So you got that radio voice, too, man. We need to have you do a show on the Hot 96. <laughs> I heard that five, five. Well, listen, I'm man, ready, man, I tell you, man, you got a great sense of humor. We appreciate you. Once again, give them the website again so we can make sure that we blow that up because we want people to be hitting you up and helping you with your effort, too. Go ahead, man. Successcoachforyou.com. Success Coach, the number four, and the letter U, dot com. All right, there it is, man. Coach Kevin, he's a life coach. And I'm serious about, um, you know, bringing you on as my life coach, man, because one, one of the things that I wanted to say here and get you to uh, kind of speak on a little bit, too, is um, unfortunately, I think uh, this happens a lot of times in the black community. We don't, we don't understand the importance of having a life coach or having – uh, someone to help us out mentally. You know what I mean? Physically, you need a workout. You know, you need somebody to help guide you physically to not eat the wrong things in and, 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 and every aspect of our lives. But for some reason, in the African-American community, we seem like something's wrong with having a life coach or, or going to see a psychiatrist and getting some, some, some mental help, right? So can you just, just shed a little light on that for us, man? Definitely. And that's why I branded myself as a success coach because what I do is help successful people become more successful. So hiring me as your success coach doesn't mean that you're unsuccessful or that you have major problems in your life. It just means that the areas that you're not focusing on that aren't a 10, I can help you work to get all those areas a 10. All right. Sounds good, man. Coach Kevin on the phone with us. Coach, we appreciate you, man. Y'all make sure y'all check this brother out. Uh, he's definitely a good guy. He, he's out He's out there doing his thing, man. Hey, look, we appreciate you, Coach. Man, thanks for being on with us today. Thank you, Marcel. Keep it, keep it rocking, man. Keep it rocking. Keep the people moving, and I really love what you're doing. Hey, well, we appreciate you too, man. All right, listen, if you're out there and you're listening to the radio station and you want to be on, we'll put you on too. Just hit us up at B-O-B-L at WMARFM.com. We call it business on business love. We show you some love. B-O-B-L at WMARFM.com. It's the Marcel Show. Thanks, Kev. We'll get with you, man. We'll be back, too. Hold on. It's the Marcel Radio Show.